Am I live? I'm live. Okay, Sarah Baptist, urban landscape artist, and welcome to my open studio. We are here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, hard for me to believe I've been getting ready for this thing for quite a while. So, welcome. Um, this is year number six for Open Studio, and I've been getting ready for this since spring, believe it or not. So, um, just, I welcome you all. Um, uh, so, you're here today. I've been talking about this new series, new series, new series. I hope you're excited as I am. Um, any new series for, and then dive right in. So, um, you ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I am. Anyway, I'm going to dive right in, like I said. So any new series for an artist is really a journey. Um, and this journey for me started 25 years ago when I fell in love with the figure and started drawing the figure. I've been drawing the figure for yeah over 20 years. And um, I just, I just love the figure. And it's, it's a challenge. It's one of the most challenging things any artist can, can try to render. Um, so, and then, what, a little over seven years ago, I started doing the urban landscape. And as, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know I do that uh, mostly plain air. Uh, so... When I was out doing plain air, I see people, right? <laughs> so I, I started a couple years ago. I decided, I see all these people out in the park just kind of hanging out. And that figure love of mine kicked in and I decided to take my sketch pad out and started sketching them. So I have these sketchbooks filled with just little ink sketches of people just hanging out those are cars but so um i didn't think anything would really come of this it was just something it was a way for me to do some figure sketching which i hadn't done for a while and again i just there's there's something about the figure and people waiting and their postures that just fascinate me and um so it was a way for me to, to kind of investigate that a little bit. So I'm on these two paths, these two journeys. I have the figure going on this side and urban landscape on this side, and I'm going down these two tracks. And I kind of figured at some point they would meet. I didn't know how, I didn't know when. Um, I'll go over here. I had played around. Uh, I took some of those sketches a couple years ago, and I did some of these little paintings from those. And that was that was one little thing. Nothing really came of them. They were fun to do, um, but obviously, it just wasn't time for for that to happen. So anyway. So this past winter, I was, I was thinking about what I, what I was going to do. And it just, I, I was looking through some of my sketches and I wanted to do some, some big things in the studio, some big paintings. And I've been rethinking my artwork a little bit and it just felt right. It felt time to do some larger figures and just experiment a little bit. I had a sketch in mind that I had done. And so I did this larger painting. And this, so this was the first in the series that I did uh, this winter. And the name of this one is To Each His Own. Um, and I really just love this painting. It was really fun to paint. Um, I love that. I love that woman. She had such character, hand in on her head, and, and the two people on the bench, both in their own worlds. Um, I just, 
just had fun painting that painting. And so that really kind of set me on a path and I'm like, okay, this is working and this feels right. So I decided, uh, okay, so let's go in, we'll go in the other room here and look at some more. So I thought, okay, well, let's, let's keep this up. Um, so I had some old paintings that, you know, weren't, weren't very successful and I had pulled them up and decided that I would look through some other sketches that I, I really liked and, and, uh, and I was going to paint over these old paintings. Also, the other thing I do sometimes when I'm out scouting and looking for ideas is I, I photograph. Um, I photograph urban landscapes and I also photograph, at this point I was also photographing people just for ideas to put in paintings and also for this series at this point. So, um, so I photograph, I did took a photograph of this woman. Um, and as soon as I saw her, um, I pretty much sure, I was pretty sure she was going to be a painting. <laughs> and so, um, fairly shortly after finishing that other painting, I did this painting and it just fell off the brush. It was one of those magical paintings for me and uh, it really solidified for me that this was going to be a series and that I needed to really commit to it and go forward and uh, make it a series and that the two that those two paths I talked about had converged and made sense and uh, it was a green light to go. So uh, that, that's how this series was born over the course of <laughs> 20 years. And um, I'm just, I just had fun all summer um, bringing the uh, rest of these paintings to life. And a couple of the paintings, the smaller ones, like I said, are, are from uh, a couple years ago. But it's interesting how they just have all now come together and uh, made, they're now a family. <laughs> but there are a number, there are um, eight or 10 new paintings. So, um, and I'm just really excited and about them. And a number of them are, are over old paintings. Some of them are new, um, um, you know, they're all new paintings, but some of them are new canvases, but a number of them are over old canvases. And that's kind of fun because some of that old painting pops through. Uh, that's one reason some of them are they're all different sizes and shapes, which uh, my wife pointed out. She thought that was interesting because people are all different sizes and shapes. <laughs> Makes it a lot tougher to frame them, but uh, that's my problem. <laughs> so, um, so we'll pop over here, and I'm just going to show you a couple of them. You can see all of these paintings on sarahbaptistart.com. The uh, gallery page is open, so these paintings are all on there. So this one is called Dude. Just love this guy. We've all been there, you know. That's the thing with the figure. I think you, we really can relate to them so easily. I mean, we've all been on a bench. We've all been sitting there with the backpack, and um, I think that's why I love the figure so much. Is is all these people have a story? We can imagine what their story is, and I think we can relate and connect to them in some way. It's just that humanity speaking through. And I think that's one reason I love the figure so much. And now that I can combine my love for the urban landscape and the figure, uh, that's what makes this series so special for me. And I hope that shines through and, and speaks to you too. Um, but this bright blue shirt of his, and you know, I mean, who hasn't sat there? I mean, maybe we haven't had a cigarette sticking out of the mouth. <laughs> But, uh, you know, so, and then this wall too, you can see the, a couple of the paintings on the side are ones I did in the studio I think last year that, you know, had some people in. So that's, again, that's part of the journey. This didn't just happen overnight. Um, those are some lead in paintings that I had done, but these new bigger ones that focus on the figure are the new series. 
So this is a uh, baby, it's cold outside. And uh, this guy was on the library steps. It's called Enmeshed. We've all, we all know that guy. <laughs> that guy might be our, us sitting there on the cell phone. He had no idea. I was sitting there sketching him away and taking pictures. He didn't know. He's sitting, you know, six feet away from me. He had no idea I was there. But, uh, and I love the contrast of the light and the dark with him and that pop of red. Um, here's an, this is another one I did. This is one part of the series I did a couple of years ago from the sketches. And uh, some guy getting ready to get on a bus with his stuff to get to work. There's another guy on the same library steps. That's over an old painting. That one's called Waiting Game. He was just so quiet there. He came and flopped down and he just had such a quietness about him and a stillness. He just fascinated me. Um, and then again, another guy on a cell phone waiting for, and a lot of them are waiting for bus, I, I guess they're still so I can, <laughs> I can capture them a little bit. Mm. But, uh, so anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick look at those. If you want to get a longer look-see, uh, again, sarahbaptistart.com. There are lots of other paintings. Um, tomorrow at noon, I'm going to be just talking quickly about, uh, I did a lot of new plein air this year, also down in the city, so um, in Wilmington, and I'm going to be uh, we'll take a quick look at those. I'll talk about those a little bit. So that's at noon tomorrow. Same bat channel. Same, <laughs> uh, same place um, at noon. So I hope to see you there. Again, sarahbaptistart.com. Open studio tabs right there. So hope to see you there, if not in person here at the open studio. So you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you later. Okay.